Hello guys, once again welcome to the Automation Revolution. Uh, in this video, we will learn how we can access the PLC from internet or any phone or any tablets from uh, where uh, we, uh, internet is going on. So from the internet, we will get uh, different uh, data like input and output, read tables and uh, this force and watch table we can get from the internet. So mostly uh, diagnosis buffer, that type of uh, data we will get from internet for troubleshooting and diagnosis. So this web server application is very useful uh, while we are not on site and if there is any problem in PLC. So that time for troubleshooting and maintenance this uh, web server application is uh, really uh, awesome for uh, helping us. So now we will start uh, how we can configure this web server and Siemens TI portal uh, with S7 300 kit. So you can see here I have taken S7 300 kit and uh, now we will configure this web server on this S7 300 kit. So first we will go for this property, from the property we will get one option here downside web server. So here uh, web, in web server you need to first active the web server on this module. So just click on this button and then uh, we will go for next configuration. And downside you will get user management. So here you can define a different uh, username and uh, you can provide the access level. So here uh, I have uh, generated one username Siemens and then uh, I have provided fully access with this user you can also uh, provide the password for authorization and then next we will go for a uh, user defined web page so uh, this HTML uh, directory is one type uh, one type of file from where uh, you can uh, get HTML uh, page uh, so here I have made one uh, coding for HTML so you can see uh, this is the HTML coding uh, as per your uh, application or demand you can make this HTML coding so here I have taken two buttons for motor on and off so I have taken start and stop to push button and uh, you can see here this motor is one type of variable so here I have taken motor variable as a bool a boolean data type and uh, this my integer is integer data type variable so we will not uh, go in detail with html so you can make this html coding from uh, some it person so from this uh, html directory you can provide the path from where uh, you have stored this html file and next uh, just click on this button so this html file will be integrated with this uh, application so when you just click on uh, this HTML file you will get this uh, the re result how it will look like in browser so here I have taken uh, motor on and off this button from this HTML coding and uh, this is uh, my integer data so I can vary this motor uh, variable uh, speed so here uh, web data dot my integer is my uh, variable integer variable and this motor is my boolean variable so as per that I will uh, define PLC tag motor and my integer. So after integrate this HTML directory and uh, HTML page just click on generate block. So this block uh, web page block will be uh, generated in this PLC and uh, now you, can, you will get in main OB uh, different types of block uh, can be generated after uh, generating the web server. Now in main OB, uh, you need to take uh, one web server block. So here you can see this www block is web server black. Uh, from the this communication, you will get this web server block. So just drag and drop block. So you can see there is a controlled DB number, and uh, this is return value. So this uh, www block data block number is fixed. Uh, triple three that detail you get from this web server also so it's uh, this db number is fixed uh, triple three so just uh, give db number here and you can move uh, any into any memory uh, word so here i have assigned mw50 now i will go for uh, add new block and i will assign uh, one data block and uh, I will rename this data block as per my HTML directory. So in, in HTML directory, I have defined this 
data block name as a web data so i will rename this data block as a web data so you can see here already i have now renamed this web data and th from this web data i will make uh, this, uh, parameter so here i have taken one tag as a motor uh, data type is boolean so as per your application you can take different types of parameter here or different types of tagging and uh, now you can take any memory uh, bit and compulsory you, you have to uh, give this tag name as per your html variable name so in html variable name i have defined this variable as a motor this is case case sensitive so please when uh, you are configuring any web server application or uh, you are making any web uh, web page in html so this variable is case, sen case sensitive so as per your uh, html directory web variable you need to give this name so here i have given exactly a motor name and from this motor i am uh, enabling uh, this output uh, q136.0 so when uh, i will click on motor button that time i will uh, get the output from this uh, web server so now uh, i will make monitoring on and i already downloaded uh, this programming in plc here i have connected a uh, lan cable with this port and uh, internet is coming from this lan so this ip address is in 7 series you can see so this ip address uh, we will uh, write in browser and from that uh, ip address we will get a web uh, web server a page so now i will click on browser so you will get a browser window so you can take any browser uh, chrome or you can take uh, firefox mozilla uh, you can use uh, internet explorer so from browser uh, i will write this ip address so here uh, this plc ip address is 192.168.7.5 i just click on this so you can see here uh, we will get the siemens portal view so this is the web server page view home view now i will enter in this uh, plc module just click on enter so here you will get uh, this web server module now we will log in in portal click on login so now we have successfully logged in in uh, web server page here you can get a detailed uh, different station name module name uh, whatever operating mode is running in plc that you can get in real time uh, you will get this picture uh, picture uh, representation of this plc now we will go for identification so you will get serial name this hardware number firmware version each and every detail you will get from this internet diagnosis buffer so from the diagnosis buffer uh, if plc is having some problem uh, if plc is having some fault uh, for communication or in hardware or programming so that fault uh, you will get in diagnosis buffer uh, so with date and time and uh, this event error code you will get from this diagnosis buffer so it's very easy for troubleshooting and maintenance well uh, if uh, plc is having some problems so from remote location uh, your from your mo for mobile phone or uh, from your tablet you can access this plc and uh, you will get this diagnosis buffer entry now we'll go for module information so if you uh, connected different input and output module with this plc that detail you will get from this module and if you have configured any alarms that alarms or message you will get uh, this message the communication type so here you will get this mac address ip address subnet each and every detail you will get from this uh, communication now uh, uh, we'll directly go for this uh, customer pages so here you can uh, get this user defined web page so when you just click on this uh, web page that web view will be open and uh, you can access plc data 
so now i will click on this button so here uh, i am getting this web page view and uh, when i will click on this button so this output will be on so that you can see in ti you can see in right now output is on because i have uh, clicked on this motor on data now i will uh, make output of so once again i will get back with browser click on motor off now output should be off so you can see now output is off so according to uh, this application uh, you can make different types of web page uh, you can you can enter the motor data uh, like speed rpm you can change from remote location this browser you can open from your phone or any tablet from where you are getting uh, internet access so like that uh, you can read or write uh, data from this tag status so from this uh, tag variable uh, you can write data you can read uh, plc tag table here so mostly each and every uh, detailed information you will get from this web browser here uh, i am getting uh, this input out uh, input uh, enable so when i will click on motor uh, button that time this output will be on so next for the logic you can make different uh, application as per your requirement so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any query you can make comment and uh, you can ask me so we'll definitely answer on this so thank you very much for uh, watching our video